What do you do? Well, I'm an entertainer, stripper, whatever you want to call it. I'm in the, but also a bartender. I've done any anything and everything. I entertain okay, so people. Sure. Here's my theory on men: if you have a big <laughs> and you're good looking, that's all you need. What kind oh, of yeah. watch? What kind of watch are you looking Rolex, for? Rolex, obviously. Duh. Well, like, is there a specific Rolex, or are you just? I mean, I know men's watches more than I know women's watches, obviously. Well, they yeah. Don't stock women's because men are going bigger, or I mean, women are going bigger. So. Obviously, bigger is better. I'm just saying it's facts. <laughs> but here's the thing. Okay, so I don't get it personally. Like, you guys are a private company, obviously. Mm -hmm. Why not just walk into Rolex and buy it at Rolex? Good luck. I'll give you. I'll give you a story. <laughs> Good luck I'll with that. You, I'll give you an example. Sorry. So, what do you do? Well, I'm an entertainer, stripper, whatever you want to call it. I'm in the, oh. but also a bartender. Okay. I've done any anything and everything. I entertain okay, so people, stripper, stripper whatever, okay. whatever, same thing. Um, yes, I, I take my clothes off for money. <laughs> I relate this to watches. Well, I mean, all of our Every, clients. Hold no, on, hold here's, on. Here's I will relate it to you explain. right now. I'll give it to you in two seconds. Our clients have to basically strip for Rolex to get our watches at retail prices. And they strip their wallets. They strip their dignity. <laughs> they strip everything Okay, out. but here's my thing. You want to know what... I make six figures a year. You want to know what I look at? The first That's two things nice. I look at when a client walks in the door. The watch. Watch and, and shoes. shoes. Yes. 100%. Yeah, I would throw you off because I could wear... A hundred thousand dollar watch, and I wear Vans every day. So yeah, but that doesn't. The watch is no. Overcome the watch the shoes. is more important. Yeah. Okay, because that's an investment. That's something that will gain value in but time. But let me ask you it's something. From your investment. perspective, I. Well, what if I was wearing hold on, give okay. and a G-Shock? Give me a second. I'm just gonna, I want to see where the balance is. Listen. Personally, I, I go for a guy that has a nice watch. If okay, you have but a Rolex, let me ask you If you something. have a Rolex on your wrist, I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. Okay. So no. Okay. You said you look at a guy with a Rolex mm -hmm. comes into your. Uh, facility and you're like okay but what deems in your eyes what's a nice Rolex is it have to be diamonds really flashy I mean okay so like can you recognize something there's that, this place that's called sissy's log cabin yes where I I, I, I'm Arkansas, in Arkansas. Arkansas that's that's where my ex bought his watch right first off the guy's a idiot he hasn't insured it yet he may have now but he's had it for months hasn't mm -hmm. insured it. it's like a $16,000 piece I mean $16,000 like he makes way more than that it doesn't sure. matter but still insure the Dumbass. Do you know how to tell a fake Rolex from a real Rolex? A hundred percent. Do you know? Really? Yeah. Like, isn't the if thing... If you can do it successfully, <laughs> I will give you any Rolex of your choice. <laughs> well, it has something to do with the face, right? See... One of the things. So what I'm saying you know is, if, if that's what you guys are going off, guys are well, smart. Well, first off, they're gonna go after, an like, actual the best Rolex, fake Rolex. A Rolex doesn't run on a battery. No, we, uh, nor did the fakes. Yeah. You gotta understand what level fake Rolexes are at right now. They're oh. so good. They're that high? They're so, I'm gonna show you. Okay. I've got two. I'm gonna well, show but you. I know that there's, there's something with the actual face. No. no. Is it not? Not at all. Really? Uh, we've got fake Rolexes that have real parts in them. You don't know. Right. Then I probably wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, especially at night in a club in a dark setting. Oh, really? And I'm usually morning. drunk, so. What would be really funny is to train somebody like you in your industry to like absolutely know Rolexes and then just go in the strip clubs and like call oh, fake and be like, by the way, you got a fake <laughs> No, but I'm like, by the way, your hairline isn't real either, you know? Oh, damn, like man. I can tell those things. But they like I literally women, take like DNA do. from your scalp and put it in other parts of your scalp that's to make it. That's just a combat ball. No, but it's like whatever. Who cares if you lost your hair? Yeah, I, that's... Here's my theory on men. If you have a big <laughs> and you're good looking, that's all you need. Wait, no, Yo, what is that that showed up? I don't know. Right? That's I'm about like... to find out. <laughs> Insane. Did, did you buy another Wait. winder? Is that a Actually, grandfather me... clock out there, or what's that? It could be a grandfather <laughs> Rolex clock. That'd be awesome. You're not gonna know. I'm, I'm probably say. not gonna know. You're probably right. And if I do, I'm gonna like go and buy a bottle of tequila and get fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> I need you to cite your sources on how you know it's fake. Don't just say one's fake and you win. It's not heads and tails. This would be so much easier if I didn't have like 90 mimosas right here. <laughs> well, first off, I can... The times are different anyways. Oh, I know that much. That's a the big times indicator. are different. <laughs> big indicator. Do not do this to me. You're like going to embarrass me in front of the whole world, aren't you? Well... Yeah, just 200,000 viewers a week. I really, honestly, am not. Like, I'm not that b Like, can literally show my for a living, I don't give a So far, every single thing on this watch looks exactly the same as the other one. <laughs> Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Half it's the like, guys that you thought had real the Rolexes most simple have this. Thing. Yeah. Here you go, if you need it. 
I have 20, 20 unless I'm drunk. You said you were drunk. So. I'm not that drunk. She said 90. No, I didn't. I had like, okay, so I had a carafe of mimosas. So every single thing about these watches looks exactly the same. Although this finish is a little like, I don't know, you know? It's like, like more sloppy looking. My intuition says this one, but it's not. It's not, let me see. Pick. No, this is the real one. You said that was the real one? Yeah. yeah right. Am I right? Yeah. No, this is <laughs> fake. Hmm? This is the fake one, bro. God, you both are wrong. No, it's not, dude. I'm not that bad. The bezel is only tired on this thing. This is the real one, homie. <laughs> it's not. You want no, that's that? the real one. That's what she said. This that's, is the real one. That's yeah, what that's I what said. said. That's the real this one. The oh, I'm sorry. And I know exactly. I can tell a real from a fake. Yeah? Uh. What was the giveaway? She the said finish. the finish. Yes. So what is it that's different about them? Well, for one, I mean, the bezel doesn't even turn on this. Let me see. Is this the fake one? Well, I didn't touch that's it like that. that. I know, but that's that's a way to tell. Like you for me. Work for us then, because a lot of things, we need more people to touch it. I don't think we could afford her. Just going to throw that out there. Probably not. 1600 a well, I don't always make that kind of money. There's nights where I walk out of there with like 15 bucks. It, it's just like, it's a, nice to get it's a very volatile <laughs> industry. It's so volatile. It really yeah. is. So. That's why I quit. We can watch you. Are you a stripper? When you get a... A Le Bear? <laughs> Le Bear. Hell. Are you kidding me? I, I used to do Le Bear all the time and I used to spend so much money. You're it's disgusting. in the industry. That's like comparing a bartender going to a bar and tipping and saying normal Okay, so tip. I'm pretty much a man trapped in a woman's body. That's gonna upset a lot of the men you danced on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like, I mean it more like, okay, so I think like a man, like I'm interested in the same things that men are. Million dollar rupee. Yeah. yeah. You, you could have, have one million dollars. <laughs> oh, I have a number, I forgot. I gave you my number. Yeah. I don't do business cards because nobody uses them. Guess what I do with business cards? Throw them in the why. trash. <laughs> I have so many. I don't look at them. I have way too many. I have like a shoebox full of business cards from all my clients, and I'm like. And you, yeah. have you ever looked at them? No. So why would I give you a business card? <laughs> and then next time you need a watch or someone you know needs you're a like watch, you're like the uh, Gandalf think, oh, the Great of watches, watch aren't you? You'll just think I know a watch guy, but I can't remember his name. So if you save it in your phone right now, it's Anthony the watch guy. No, I, I would him. remember where you're at. It's like a location thing for but me. But if you're out of town, then you need to find my number. Say this, Anthony the Watch Guy.